the flood emergency is far from over in Victoria, with the weekend's deluge putting extra pressure on saturated waterways and catchments. Showers and possible hail have been forecast south of the ranges from Tuesday, while isolated thunderstorms could hit northern Victoria, before wild weather ramps up again from the weekend. Flooding continued to occur in Melbourne's west overnight with a flood rescue in Tarnate about 10. 20 p.m. Greater than greater than emergency services called to Doherty's Road found a vehicle in knee-deep water. Two people in the car were safely removed by SES crews. The Murray River is expected to peak at Wakool Junction, north of Swan Hill along the NSW border, by about midday on Tuesday. Flood water is steadily flowing north towards Mildura and is likely to reach the major regional center by late next week. Major flooding is also expected at Yarrawonga in the state's northeast on Thursday and further west in Tokumwal by the weekend, as floodwaters from Albury Wadonga head downstream. Catchments across the state have been full for some time now after record rainfall in October. Some 85 warnings remain active and almost 450 roads are closed. Major to moderate flood warnings have been issued for several waterways across the state, however Emergency Management Commissioner Andrew Crisp said he did not expect rivers to rise as high as they did in in previous weeks. On Monday, the emergency moved south to the Mornington Peninsula as flash flooding inundated streets, isolated residents and damaged homes across several suburbs. There were more than 650 calls for help across the state in the roughly 24 hours to Monday morning, with about 300 from the peninsula. Seven homes in the suburb of Hastings were flooded above floor level, forcing residents to relocate. In the state's west, six homes were flooded at Lethbridge near Geelong while authorities are still working out how to move heavy machinery onto saturated ground to fix a train derailment at Inverlay. The state's Environmental Protection Authority has issued a fresh plea for communities in northern Victoria to stay away from flood waters after finding low levels of the bacteria E. coli in major waterways at Swan Hill, Rochester and Echuca with AAP.